Fame came to American singer, actress, and author Fantasia Barrino after she won the third season of American Idol in 2004. She has won a Grammy Award for her work. Fantasia quickly became a well-liked figure in the music business thanks to her powerful singing and emotional performances. But even though she has been successful, she has had major personal problems and tragedies that have changed her life and work. She was born on June 30th, 1984, in High Point, North Carolina, into a family with a lot of singing history. Gospel music was very important to her family, and Fantasia started singing in church when she was young. As a child, she lived in a loving but tough home where her love of music grew, but soon things would get hard in her personal life. Barino had problems at T. Wingate Andrews High School, like being picked on and other problems. She left school after giving birth to her first child, Zion, when she was 16 years old. Fantasia had a hard time making things meet when she was a teen mom, but her dream of becoming a singer never went away. Fantasia tried out for American Idol when she was 19 years old, and her beautiful voice made her a fan favorite right away. Her soulful versions of songs like Summertime won her fans during the competition and became one of her most remembered performances. When Fantasia won American Idol on May 26, 2004, she made a name for herself in the music business. She was the first act in history to have their first single go straight to number one on the Billboard Hot 100. The song was called, I believe her 2004 debut album, For Yourself was also a hit. It earned her three Grammy nominations and cemented her place as one of the most promising new RB acts. After her first big hit, Fantasia's business kept going up, the hit song, When I See You from her second album. Fantasia 2006 stayed at the top of the Billboard Hot RB Hip Hop Songs chart for eight weeks. The song became one of her most famous hits and made her even more of a force in modern RB. Along with her singing career, Fantasia did well when she moved to Broadway. Many critics gave her great reviews for her role as Sally in the Color Purple on Broadway in 2007. The strong way she played the part won her a Theatre World Award and showed how good she was as both a singer and an actress. Fantasia's third studio album, Back to Me, came out in 2010. It had the Grammy-winning song Bittersweet at last. She won a Grammy Award for Best Female RB Vocal Performance. It was a big moment in her career. Fantasia has had a lot of success in her work, but she has also had a lot of problems and tragedies in her personal life. She has had to get through a lot, from problems in relationships to money problems to mental health issues. Fantasia had a lot of money problems, even though she did well on American Idol and in her music business afterward. At one point in 2009, she was about to lose her home to default. She had signed contracts that put her finances at risk and her debt kept growing. This made people in the media very interested in her personal life. Fantasia wrote in her 2005 autobiography, Life is not a fairy tale about how hard it was for her to handle money, deal with the law, and work hard in the music business. Poor management and bad financial decisions she made early in her work made her money problems worse. Fans of Fantasia have had a lot of publicized relationships, especially her time with Antoine Cook, who was supposedly married when they were together. This caused a public scandal and legal fights when Cook's ex-wife sued Fantasia for alienation of affection. In some U.S. states, this is a legal term that lets a spouse sue a third party they think caused their marriage to end. Fantasia went through a depressive episode because of how the story and the media's close attention on her personal life made her feel. One of the saddest times in Fantasia's life was in August 2010 when she tried to kill herself by taking too many aspirin and sleeping pills. This came after a time of great emotional pain that was made worse by her money problems, relationship problems, and the stress of being famous. Later, Fantasia talked freely about her suicide attempt. She said she was overwhelmed and thought that committing suicide was the only way to feel better. They talked on VH1's Behind the Music and she said, I just want it out, I want it out right then. I was ready for it to end. Everything, everything, bad word. Fantasia escaped the overdose and she later said that it was a wake-up call that made her think about her life and mental health again. After she tried to kill herself, Fantasia went to therapy and found strength in her faith, both of which were very important in helping her get better. It made her stronger when she was done with it and more set on taking charge of her life and work. Fantasia went through another terrible event in her life when her nephew Taekwon Von Rico Washington was shot and killed in Greensboro, North Carolina in February 2018. His death was so sudden Taekwon was only 18 years old that Fantasia and her family were crushed. She talked about her sadness with her friends on social media. She posted touching tributes to her nephew and talked about how sad it is to lose a loved one to gun crime. 
The terrible death of her nephew was a painful reflection of the problems her family has had to deal with, and Fanashia has used her fame to push for healing and unity after these kinds of terrible events. Fanashia has been through a lot of hard things, but she has always shown amazing strength. Her music often shows the hard time she's been through because she uses her voice and fame to encourage others to keep going when things get tough. Fanashia's rebirth as an artist and person began with her fourth record. Side Effects of You, which came out in 2013. The record debuted at number two on the Billboard 200 and had the hit single Lose to Win, which was based on her own experiences of getting through hard times. The record was praised for being honest and emotional. And Fanishes said it was very personal. Fanishes sixth studio record, Sketchbook, came out in 2019. It showed how much she had grown as an artist and as a person. There were RB, soul, and gospel sounds on the record. It helped her learn more about herself and gave her more power. After many years of trouble, Fantasia has finally found peace in her personal life. She married businessman Kendall Taylor in a beautiful wedding in 2015. It was the start of a new part of her life. Fantasia has said many times that Kendall has been there for her with love and support, helping her get through some of the hardest times in her life. Their first child together was a girl named Kaziah, born in 2021. Uh, she also has two other kids from past relationships a daughter named Zion and a son named Dallas. Fantasia Barino left behind more than just her songs. It's a sign of power, resilience, and survival that she is, having dealt with and gotten through many personal and work problems in telling her story. Fantasia has been honest and open, which has inspired many people to keep going through their own problems. She is one of the best RB and gospel singers because of how powerful and emotional her singing is. Fantasia, who has written books, been on Broadway, and won a Grammy Award, continues to use her fame to inspire and lift others. There have been ups and downs in Fantasia Barino's life. From her early struggles as a teen mom to her rise to fame on American Idol to her personal fights with depression and money problems, Fantasia's story shows how important it is to keep going, have faith, and be strong inside. Fanishia is still a source of hope for people who are going through hard times, even after all the bad things that have happened to her, using her life and songs to help people heal and gain power. Fantasia Barino, an actress and singer, had a major accident while traveling in Hawaii with her husband this morning. This was shocking news from her family. Uh, unfortunately, Fantasia got hurt badly in the crash and is now in a coma, was lucky to only be slightly hurt, and they are now awake again. The whole family is worried, though, because they don't know what will happen with Fantasia's health in the next few days after a long day at work. Fantasia Barino and her husband Kendall Taylor chose to take a break on the beautiful island of Hawaii. They were hoping that this trip would give them some sweet, quiet time away from the attention. There was a surprising turn of events, though. The unhappy pair was driving along a lovely coastal road in Hawaii on that terrible afternoon. Witnesses at the scene say that the dog ran into the middle of the road while the people were going on an empty road. The dog and the car crashed because there was no time to respond. Kendall lost control of her car after the quick crash. The car hit a big tree on the side of the road and crashed. Fantasia was thrown forward and hit her head hard on the dashboard when the car was hit hard. The front of the car was badly injured. She passed out right there at the scene. Kendall, her husband, was hurt, but more awake and tried to call for help right away. They quickly got to the scene of the accident and rushed the husband and wife to the hospital nearby. Doctors at the hospital revealed that Fantasia had a very bad head injury. She was taken to the operating room right away to ease the pressure on her brain and make her health stable. After a long surgery, though. The doctor said that Fantasia had fallen into a coma and had not yet woken up. Her situation is very scary, and doctors are keeping a close eye on her to make sure nothing worse happens. Fantasia's family took a quick flight to Hawaii to be with her and pray for her. They include her mother and brothers. Kendall Taylor, Fantasia's husband, was hurt badly but was heartbroken. He told the press that he couldn't stop thinking about his wife, even though he was lucky to get away. I love her very much, he said with feeling. We only pray and hope that Fantasia will get through this and soon be back with her family and fans. Tell us what you think about the health of Fantasia Barino. Please pray for them and let us know in the comments. To get the most up-to-date information on her, subscribe to the channel and turn on alerts. Thanks for seeing all of the movies.